Hey guys, so as you can see by the title below, I'll be showing you what's in my swim bag. Recently just joined Long Beach Aquatics, so yeah. Anyways, back to the video. What's inside my swim bag? So the first thing that I have in my swim bag is a kickboard, and we use these doing like kick drills. So the next thing that I have in my swim bag are fins. I literally love using fins during swim especially when we're swimming for distance because that just helps you go so much faster and it makes swim and life in general so much easier so yeah so that was it for this compartment of my swim bag usually of the big compartment of my swim bag usually i'll have a towel and a bathing suit in there for uh for days that i have practice today i actually don't have practice and i'll usually also have a water bottle in there too so yeah, so in this one pocket I have nothing, so yeah. I usually have like hair ties in there when I do have practice. So in this little compartment of my swim bag, um, I just have my swim caps and my goggles in there. So the first swim cap that I have is for my high school, OHS. And I usually don't wear this one to practice. This one is my least favorite because it's latex and I hate using latex because one, they low, they like hurt my, they hurt when you like pull down. I don't know, they like get stuck to my hair, kind of. And two latex caps rip more easily than silicone caps, so yeah. The other, the other swim cap that I have in my, in this little compartment, is my black speedo, is my black speedo silicone swim cap, and this one is my favorite because it's a silicone and I don't necessarily. I just hate using latex swim caps because latex swim caps are gross and silicone is so much better. So, yeah. Also, I feel like for some reason, silicone swim caps keep the water out of your ears better. If that makes any sense. So, so comment down below which, which swim caps you prefer, silicone or latex. I prefer silicone, as I mentioned before. So, and I'm kind of interested in what you guys think is better, silicone or latex. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you prefer silicone swim caps, because latex swim caps are gross. So, the next thing that I have in that little compartment is my swim goggles. I just have these clear speed swim goggles. Um, yeah. I feel like, I feel like people look more weird with clear goggles than, like, Tinted goggles. I don't know. I feel like people look like bugs when they have this on. So, yeah. By the way, if any of you guys were wondering where I happened to have gotten my swim bag from, I got it from swimoutlet.com. The link will be in the description below. So, yeah. By the way, guys, this video isn't sponsored by Swim Outlet, but Swim Outlet, if you happen to be watching this, you should sponsor me. So, so the next thing that I have in this little compartment over here the side compartment is conditioner this conditioner is actually from mexico and it's for curly hair i use conditioner right when i get out of the pool i don't you put shampoo in right when i get after the pool i just wait till i get home so, so i can actually take like a real shower when i get out of the pool i just rinse the chlorine off my body and i put conditioner so i can just brush it so it won't be naughty it's actually from mexico so that's why the bottle is in Spanish. And in the other side compartment of this bag, it has a little, like, strap thingy to put your water bottles in. So, yeah. And in this compartment, I just have some deodorant. I usually put this on before dry land and after dry land. Another thing that I usually keep in my swim bag on these that I have swim practice are my running sneakers for dry land. These are just some regular black nike sneakers and these shoes are so comfortable for running thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like and comment and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and yeah thank you guys for watching bye